Hey, Welcome Anna. back. Time now for Around Town. Hey, hey, kids. We're at the Spice House in uh, Old Town. It's been in this location for 20 years, right on Wells. I'm here with Alex Wilkins. Good morning. Good morning. All right. I My friends swear by this everything bagel, but you've put it on bacon and avocado toast. Uh, Anna, that's your challenge this year is to eat more spices for breakfast. So okay. this is where we're going. Beautiful avocado toast, everything bacon. Uh, also makes a great BLT. Quick question. What is in this everything bagel that makes it so good. Nice crunchy bits of garlic and onion, uh, two different types of sesame seeds, some poppy seeds, and some nice coarse My sea salt. My friend put it on asparagus and it was fantastic. Yeah, you, that's what we get most excited about, all the different things you can do with all of these different spices. That's why you were saying take yeah. cha challenges. All right, how about this? Uh, Mexican chili lime. This one is great as you see for fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's our version of that tahini, so it's all about the, the nice powdered chilies and the and the brightness of the lime. What does this do to fruit? Because my Mexican friends swear by putting tahini on, on fruit. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the fruit is already sweet, so this adds a nice savory element. Uh, is it good? Is the, the spice going to kill me? It's got some spice. No, no, it's okay, not going to kill you. It's going it's to it. be delicious. Because I've never done this. Okay, first time. Here we go. Be honest. Good. It's good. It's not kicking me. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, we like to ease into it. I don't it. want the kick. All right, cauliflower. It, this is the best way to eat cauliflower. It really is. Cut it in a steak, put it on the grill. Um, you get that nice char flavor. What did you put on that? We've seasoned that with our Greek town seasoning. So classic Greek flavors, uh, that nice, beautiful oregano with some citrus uh, from lemon peel. Uh, and then, yeah, salt, sugar, black pepper, freshly ground, of course. Perfect. And then this steak that looks fake. <laughs> this is not a fake steak. It's this not. is an absolutely real steak. Wow. We'll probably eat it here in a minute. <laughs> um, just to show what back of the yards, I mean, okay. the challenge is to find something that back of the yards isn't good on. Right. Um, so, of course, it works on steak as a butcher's rub. We season some kebabs. It'll work on eggs in the morning. Uh, I don't want to freak you out, but almost everything in my pantry is McCormick. Is and I right? just heard from a friend of mine that it, that this this is the place to come because that other stuff is probably going to kill me. Well, we don't want to talk bad about any other spice that companies. That I grew up on. But it, maybe it's time for a refresh. Of right. Spice why? Yeah, why? Freshness is really the key. Uh, we're still, even as we've grown, we're still a small batch producer. Okay. So we do things often. We do things in small quantities, and it's it's better. it tastes better. And than take a look at this store. In every aisle, you will find from salt to chili, to saffron, and they'll help you through it from the starter kit to your experienced cook. I've heard from a lot of you that this is the place to buy the spices and invest a little more and throw them out after six months. <laughs> Good idea. Things I've learned. Back to you. Thank you so much. Mm.